All right, thanks for checking in, guys. What do we got here? Ah, oh, man, it looks like a toolbox. Well, it is. It's a micro mini toolbox made by Mac Tools Legends of Racing Promotion. Now, I've done my investigating. I don't know if this came out in the late 90s, early 2000s, mid-2000s, but you cannot find these hardly anywhere on ebay they pop up every now and then i did find this at a uh believe it or not a garage sale Woo! you see how that popped off i took that off already so i'm making this my own i'm not a big nascar guy and i'm gonna probably get some heat from some mark martin fans Valvoline number six ford racing but uh it's the box man it's the box and i'm gonna be honest with you this box is sweet right so i made it my own and listen this thing is made out of the same material as your box inside your garage but it's tiny right actually made by a canadian company see the sticker there so i don't think it's actually made by mac tools again it was a promotional kind of thing but it's a seven drawer and it's supposed to mimic one of their big regular seven drawer boxes, right? So again, what do you do? You know, you got micro tools. This is a micro box. We're talking one foot across. We're talking eh, six and a half tall in depth. Eh, we're looking about five and a half. So you can't really stick a whole lot of tools in there. But when you own these micro tools, like from my first Knipix pouch, and then my second one. Now they can stay in here, but you know, they need to find a home too. They need to breathe, I guess. You know, you take them out. Where do you put them? Do you put them in your big toolboxes and they get lost with all the other tools that you have, right? So I think if you have some high quality tools like uh, Weha, Wura, Knipix, and you're buying these like smaller tools you know it's good to have a home for them so i'm going to show you what you can cram in here i actually have some other tools coming soon and uh you always got to leave some empty space for room to grow but all these tools that are under six inches will fit in here slam that next to your next box it looks pretty sweet so stay tuned if you're interested okay let's take a look at the drawers it, they come out decent now they'll pull all the way out okay and they're not the kind of drawers where they have you know the high-tech uh, ball bearing rollers but it even comes with the sized felt at least this one did so this was original you know your tool uh, stuff so there you go 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 all came with it which i was surprised the only thing i noticed on this box was this little scratch right and this did have number six stickers i took them off but this thing was sweet when i bought it okay so let's go to the top all right just to give you an idea, it's not a mini, but this is uh, your Knipix six inch. No problem. Even stick it in there. Okay, what else? We got a Milwaukee. Now again, these might not be the tools you want to stick in there, but I'm just using them for size comparison. So like I mentioned, I got uh, other tools coming. Better quality per se, maybe. But just to give you an idea there, look at these little guys. Hey. Yeah, I'm sticking you in here. Little Knipix, perfect. Right, pull it out. Now the drawers come out kind of wonky. But I'm telling you what, it's still a decent box. What are you going to do, right? Let's go here. Uh, Hey, put that there. We could put uh, this there. So you just see, hey. The Knipix, the Wura, they all fit in there. Oh, okay, let's stick the bits. Got some Wura. I got another uh, Weha bits that's gonna be here tomorrow. Fit perfect. It's the same size as this guy, so bam, goes in there. 
uh, more room here. Here's those little EDC scissors. These are pretty cool. It all fits right in there. All right, let's see where we go with this. Oh, the Seda. I love this guy. Oh, yeah, no problem. Hey. And you got the Cold Steel Mini Tough Light. Okay. So, I just showed you. And there's more room. And then up above, hey, you could put your little packs, right? You know, you could put your tape measure, whatever you might have. I haven't quite figured it out, but I was so excited to get this box, right? It's tiny, but I'm telling you what, if you have some small, high quality tools and you wanna make it a little extra special when you come out to your toolbox area, your workplace you know you got buddies oh I got nothing in there well there you go room to grow this thing is pretty damn sweet okay so get on eBay I think snap-on makes something similar but smaller and taller with a the lid there's oh, I, you know I, again I did whew, a lot of research on trying to find a small mini toolbox that would be pretty cool to put in my garage for my high quality, smaller tools, right? I don't know. This thing was cheaper than buying just that guy. So just to give you an example, oh, I pulled it out too much. There you go. So if you enjoyed this, Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and have yourself a good day.